red one. And this time I'm uh, back here in Bangkok, and I woke up about quite early local time before 3 a.m. and I was um, just past four, and I thought that in this hot weather, though I have an air condition in my home, I would like to cook something, and I'm just itching to mix another marvelous magic of the uh, Aladdin magic plugin that I've contributed since February this year in Vietnam but this time I want to add something more and uh, here's what I want to do about it it's going to be quite a long uh, demonstration because I'm doing everything from scratch and um, so the uh, I'm going to break it up into a few uh, into a series of uh, movies so this first one, you'll say, um, you're going to define, and this is good for any developer out there who want to use the fastest uh, app maker in the world, which I call the Aladdin on top of the Olympia. So let's say you want to create a new feature. It does not matter whether it's on Aladdin or on a, another window or tab. And it's a new model, right? And it'll be a tab onto the Aladdin. Uh, let me start up the... A server on my IDE. You could start it up on the uh, binary too, but um, the whole reason to start it up on the IDE is because I'm going to start real coding among the series. So, um, so the steps is um, start up the item here in IDE and. Uh, and launch the Aladdin. Mm. I can say that, and then to create a new tab on the front. And after that, I will in my second movie. I'll continue. So for now, um, let's wait for it to uh, boot up. It will take some time because of the memory constraint. While you are running a movie capture at the same time. So let's see. Right. So, as you know before, in the um, I describe it in my forum is that you just pretty columns there. So maybe the, I'll just put the columns. We should be while well, setting up the columns. Should be um, let's say. Hmm, there's not been much columns anyway. It will just be a workflow. Um, workflow. Uh, columns which, uh, workflow. I could just call it a workflow model. In fact, it's only have one column. Workflow model. Hmm, what else do you want to put in there? Later, because the Aladdin magic lamp is really magic. You could just add columns in easily. Okay, this thing is stop. I think I'll just stop the movie here. Ah, oh, yes, this. I'll just uh, stop the movie here and then you'll continue on the next one. But um, actually, it's just an error of um, my postgrad because. I left my computer on whole night and um, it whole battery went dead. Uh, so here you go. Let's start it again. And then you create the uh, magic window. I'm not going to let you go. I mean, we see real magic happening. Okay. So. The whole idea is that you will have uh, one column and then the uh, logic, right? The logic is a model even uh, logic which we will add to uh, let me close everything here. So here we can start calling that um, when there's when there's a new event or a new tab, so you have to register the tab, right? So 
Yeah. We'll register a new tech model. I'll probably call this. What's the new tech model name? Yum. You call it a. We call it a. Um, a now, this LLN, so let's call it LLN. Workflow. Right, AL. With a workflow model column. So, this will be the model. Very simple. Let me show you how it's done now. It's going to launch. And let's call it out. I'm just clicking. Okay. It's very, very easy. Let me make sure that. Um, and we will have a column called workflow model. Right. And. Let's see if my. ERP is up. Let's see. Yes, it's active. And now. Login. Okay. Hope that it gets into the system. Yeah. Otherwise, you have to change the role. So that that is the the idea of. I'll put it broke there, so let's remove it and uh, get back to me. So I'll call T. So basically, you, you will do this. Right? But once I have a quality M um, workflow, yeah, but you could inside with this, so I'll call it something like ML workflow, extending the X class, which will automatically generate to the Good, we are now on the new window. Done. So, all it takes is just here, like this side. Workflow. Let's put the caps. Probably. And it only has one column workflow. Well, you keep it together, leading caps, you separate for you. Remove the call out, save it. And then the next thing you want to do is to make it as a subtag. To main window of Aladdin. All right. So here is done, and now to make it into a sub tab, you come here. You see that your workflow is done, but the main flow of, uh, and then you can put um, L workflow, but it's not been called here the Aladdin because it's under. A. So what I have to do is call up a validation rules to allow that to be called. And um, it's under the AD table. Oh, is that user defined? Let's change that to A. Get that and refresh it. See how powerful this is. Okay, it's not being called. Cool. Let me backtrack. We'll just simply close it and um, cache reset. So, what I'm showing here is very good for um, developers because I'm showing live. Um, Handling of a challenge, a development challenge, and um, when they 
do the same thing. There are many questions they have now because I see a real guru, which is yours truly, at work. All right, so we're supposed to go under the new table. You have to spell exactly yeah, workflow. You have that correct? Let me think that your Windows model is this. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. Whoops, it's not found. Let me um, investigate a bit and then I'll continue in the next.